Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to do your hairs like this in the bandana. So if you guys want to see how to do it, keep on watching. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and become a member of my YouTube family. And if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up. So let's jump right on in and get started. I recently did a video where I had my hair up in a bandana and a lot of you asked me to do a tutorial on how I do it. So I'm going to do that. Um, first I have a bandana. I have a white one today. Um, I always keep bobby pins. I use six of them. I always keep them on the bandana so I have them for each of them so I'm not like trying to hunt around for them. Because you guys, you can buy a bushel of these for a dollar, like a ton of them. And I <laughs> lose so many of them. So many of them. I don't know how. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, you get like 300 of them and I always end up with like 15. <laughs> okay. So I unfolded my bandana so you can see how to fold it. So you normally have the regular bandana. What you want to do is you want to fold it into a triangle like so. Just like that. And then it's easier if you lay this down. Um, I'm not going to. <laughs> and then you just start folding it into little pieces. However thick or thin you want your bandana to be. So let me get mine refolded. <laughs> okay, and what I do is I always, well, I don't always do it, I guess. You can. If you don't want this little piece flapping out, you can fold it down and then fold it over, or you can just fold it and leave it like that. It's up to you. This is normal. It's like I do it half and half sometimes. I think it depends on the bandana. This one's pretty good at staying tucked underneath there. So I don't have to worry about it too much. So, okay. That is the bandana part of it. Now this is the hair part of it. Okay. So you can either put your hair in a ponytail or you can do a bun. Like, let me see if I can do this. I've never done a hair one before. So let me see. I've never had to do this. Okay, so you make the ponytail. You do the one, the two, and then on the third one, instead of pulling it all the way through, you flip it up and just kind of pull it out a little bit. So you have this little ball, and then the rest of it's kind of floating at the top of your head. That's what I do. Uh, most of the time, this is what it normally looks like. Um, let me tighten it. Um, and then if you don't want to do it like that, you can just put it in a regular ponytail and then use a clip like this to flip it up and pick, pick it, pin it, clip it, whatever. Um, so that all of this, you have all like the ends at the top of your head like that. So we're just going to do it like this today because it's easy. Yeah. Okay. So you take the bandana and with this little flippy part. This goes at the bottom of your neck like that. So you hold this tight and put it at the bottom. And I prefer my ears out. I do not like my ears in and pull it kind of tight and tie it. And I always put it mine off to the side a little bit and give it another little tie. And you can either leave these flopping out or you can tuck them in, whichever. I kind of like them flopping out. And then I always pull my bangs forward. And I end up tucking them behind my ears at some point. So after you have the bandana, I almost called it a bobby pin. After you have the bandana in place, you want to take your bobby pins. You really shouldn't use your teeth, but I do. And I put one right here. One right up here. And two on the other side in the same place. Um... The reason I put them there is just to keep them, keep the bandana a little bit more secure so it doesn't slide all over the place. And I'm here in my mouth. No. And then I put two on the bottom, in the back at the bottom, um, just to keep it. And I go from the bottom, like from the nape of my neck up into my hair, just so it uh, keeps it. In place because I don't want to be out and this thing sliding around all over the place I just don't 
I just don't want it moving and going anywhere. Okay, so now here is the fun part. I have a rat tail comb. You can use any kind of comb that you want. Um, and then I'm going to take all these little ends that we've got and tease them. So if, uh, I don't know. I don't know if anybody teases their hair anymore, um, but I do so. So I'm trying not to look in the thing. I'm trying to look in the mirror. But you just want to tease it. And uh, this is going to sound so bad, but it's the truth. Um, this works even better if your hair is dirty. Because, um, like with the oils and all that that you already naturally have, um, it just makes it work better. And I can't see out of this mirror because my kids have touched it. And now it's dirty. I can't see out of it. There, that's better. Okay. So any kind of like little pieces that you've that still look like normal hair. You want to just tease it. And that's just going to give you some volume up here. It's kind of like a, I don't know, this is kind of like an 80s, modern 80s, modern Rosie the Riveter kind of thing. So you just tease that a good amount just to give you some volume. And then we use this. My favorite hairspray in the world. It is the Big Sexy Hair spray and this is the spray and play and I love this stuff uh, I believe it's like 20 bucks a bottle for like this big bottle um, I love it so and then you just spray and I hope there's stuff yeah and as you're spraying you just kind of you know play with it kind of fluff it up a little bit you don't have you guys you do not have to teach your hair if you don't want to um, I just do for like the full effect. I always tease it. There's some times where like, if I'm just like, <sighs> keep your mouth closed when you do this. You don't want to taste it. Like if I'm just running out real quick and like I won't tease it, but most of the time I do. Like if I'm going out or anything like that, like, you know, for like a night out, something like that, I tease it. And you guys, if you do your bandana, and let's say you have like a bunch of like these little baby hairs, so annoying, by the way. But if you have a bunch of little baby hairs, you can spray your comb with the hairspray and just comb it back and it'll kind of keep them flat down for you so they don't go anywhere. So you guys, that's it. That's how you do your hair in a bandana. And I don't know if I can show you the back of her. I don't know if you can see the back of it or not. But that's how it looks like that. Um, I hope you saw it. I won't know until I edit it. <laughs> but um, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and become a member of my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day.